Welcome back and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can use the line trace by Cheno. So in Unreal Engine 5 series there's a couple of line trace which is line trace, line trace profile, line trace by object and there's a multi line trace for object and profile as well but in Unreal Engine 4 series there's only line trace and line trace profile are available so you have to keep it in mind. Okay let's go with the line trace channel. So the line trace is kind of like it will be basically give you a simple a trace array which you can use dynamically to define kind of like a location object stuff and you can even get the location rotation the property types and etc mode so this is a very useful to create in a shooting game even to verify something like pick an object kind of like system so the line trace is not so much godly to be honest now if it connect with the even with the daily with the tick it will be like this now it's a couple of input kind of like start and Visibility, trace complexity, active nodes, drop debuff, and in self. And if you speak more, you have kind of like more control on trace color, draw time, and etc. So let's start with the start time. So let me grab it at here. Let's take it in a quite good place to get it enough space. Now the start and end location is mean from where the line trace will be start and the end. It's more like if your player is looking here, so it's going to be start from here, but why it's going to be in and which direction. So that is start and end going to be verified. How you can determine it? Very simple, you can let's just get our forward camera actor, which is this one, which is camera component. From that, you have to search get world location like this, and then you need get actor location to Vector location. Oh, sorry. Get forward vector to get the forward line trace or the volume that how much distance after that you want to end it. Okay, from your forward vector, you have to first at here. From your wall location, you have to basically plus it or which is add vector, and from your get forward vector, you have to get. Oh, sorry. You have to basically multiply it and they multiply with your with the float like this this is basically the value that you want to give input which is can be determined for the how much further it can be go the line trace so suppose like if you give 200 it's going to be maximum go for example like this point but but if you're giving it 8000 12000 it's going to be reach this location as well so it's more like the distance that you are going to be determined now connect with the plus more like this and it's going to be your end location and the world location will be your start location. Now the trace ch channel is visibility and the camera. So one is the visibility which is by visible by typical players and one is the camera that whatever your camera watching actually. So let's give it uh, the visibility. Trace complexity is more like it's going to be hit the uh, you know for example if there's a an simple collision there were one type of collision but suppose it's a complex one so it's have basically a hole inside of it so at that point the line just will be determined for it so it's more depends on you want to track the complexity or not the character ignores that you can tell your line test that which character you want to ignore because it gives lots of output so it's you it's more like suppose you want to ignore your own character class so you want to make an array from that array you can make a uh, you can give basically your own self reference like this so it's going to be ignore your character otherwise it's going to be uh, calculate your character if it's hit by uh, itself then you find the debug stripe so there's a three type of debug one is on frame on duration on present so duration is the best because it's going to be give a line trace after that five seconds is going to be disappear which is help you to determine or check goodly otherwise it's always if it's in the screen it's going to be very buzzy or too hard to see it then select mirrors is already have a boolean so which is cool then the line trace color you can basically change the line trace color suppose like if it sits it's a green so suppose you want like blue and uh, the line trace color you want more like yellow you can give it something like that the duration you can control from here so even if i click on now play you can see there's a line just happening for my character how it's basically checking every one second after it's basically throwing a line trace while my camera forward are saved okay now if you want to get the heat result what is doing so from it how out heat there's a basically break result and you find bunch of options like block heat if it's heating or not you can basically get it then also the time or delay uh 
the direction that it's hitting you can also measure the distance also that how much distance the object are from the you it's you also get the location impact and normal like what is the object location are and the heating point are because it's hitting there also from there you can get the physics mat of that particular actor or if it's an image you can get the heat actor name whatever the name so you can you can connect like this and you can get the display name suppose like this if it's in a component even you can get the component bone name the heat item and the start and end so you find basically lots of bunch of different type of option with lot trace and you'll be get more data collect from the blueprint so that's why i said the light is very useful for the shooting game and even for the pickup in objects or any type of uh close system if you are making so even in the start uh track start and end it will give you an end result wise this is starting and why it's ending even it's not heated so now if i click on play you will be see that once i hit you can see that it's showing the code name it's a ram and if i checking this one you can see it's saying its name now if i try to hit my character uh the ai one let's see if i can do it no nope, it's hard to catch it but yeah but you can see it's basically give you a line test but you can see if i checking in the sky it's have a limited distance that it can be go so that is the 8000 value see so that's all in this video that how you can use the line test in your video bye bye